Good morning. It's Friday today. to start off a Friday than to get a haircut. I mean, I think I think it's just a little bit quite long. But we're not getting just any haircut. Just walk right up into Lauren's hair salon. Yes, I am cutting my hair by myself because every single place around here is $50 plus for a dry cut. It's $50 plus tip. Okay, now listen. I don't have a job. So I'm working off a budget here. I have a new job I'm starting next week. But that's not the point. The point is, is that literally why am I paying $50 plus tip, which is like another $10, so $60 in total to cut my hair dry. Just to zzz, 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 zzz around and snip the front. I mean, like $60? Now listen, I know city living is expensive, but I just don't know if $60 for a haircut is worth it. I had an epiphany in 2020 when the pandemic hit and everyone was giving themselves haircuts. I decided that it would be a smart idea to get some clippers for myself. And I actually did successfully do my own hair and cut my own hair once. And then I've had like a, go for a girlfriend try to cut it. It's been a journey. The thing is, if I could just do it myself for free with a, I don't know how much this was. I got this at TJ Maxx, so like $25. So if I can cut my, my, my hair for myself, um, and this has already used its hair trimming once. I mean, it's just for free now. Okay, if you go all the way back on my Instagram and you'll see this video, this is when I cut my hair by myself. Okay, this was the video I cut my hair by myself. Um, and as you can see, it didn't turn out that bad. Let's see if I can get, this is what I did. So I did pretty well with the, the back and the layers and stuff in the front. Um, I just didn't know how to make layers in the front. But I've been watching every single time I get a haircut how they do the layers in the front and I think I'm prepared now. Um, but yeah, so I did cut my hair by myself. Just kind of let the, the front grow out and like the sides. Like you'll see like I did the sides really well and then I left the, hair, the top row long. The only thing that I really couldn't do very well was the like all the way in the back and getting it like kind of straight and faded. I have one, two mirrors to now ensure that I can get the back of my hair straight. Um, and if not, Haley is gonna be the next victim of helping me with my hair. <laughs> I, I've had my other exes help and I've also had my mom help. So here we are. <laughs> I'm nervous. Okay, so here's my plan of action. I have the guard on it and it's kind of closed, kind of not. Um, we're gonna start with the sides first before we hit the back. So basically the sides, this is just kind of shape up the edges just a little bit, um, kind of see how we do. When you're cutting your hair by yourself, you like want to go up, not over. You want to go up <laughs> to make sure that you're not, you know, cutting off your hair a lot. You know what I mean? This is a lot harder than like people think. Cause like doing it on yourself is just hard because you can't really see very well. I think this is this is where like the, the extra ten dollars comes in for the haircuts, the cleaning up after. That's as much hair as I cut off. 
right now I am doing a thumbnail title and I'm also uploading a short to let everybody know that I'm a Patreon page I have a workout videos um, and then I do you know photos videos journal entries things like that on my Patreon so if you want to go check that out you can um, link is in the description below the help is always very appreciated um, as I said <laughs> I had to cut my own hair today because you know I, I don't have a job so you know it's it's not easy living in the city and you know trying to chase your dreams which is YouTube so you know all the help would be greatly appreciated all right let's get working This was a reminder to call your mothers, everybody. Call your mothers. Tell them you love them. Um, also, I'm going to be editing the workout video that I filmed for my Patreons. Um, so if, again, if you're not a Patreon, become a Patreon. It's so fun. And thank you to everyone who is a Patreon. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I finished up this Patreon video. And I think I want to go out and explore in the city, just ride around on my scooter, see what, you know, trouble we can get into. Then I might come back and work on my project since I didn't do it yesterday. I am a free woman and I have no responsibility today. So I think to celebrate that fact, we're going to take the e-scooter out for a little joy ride. Just because, just around the city, you know, I just love Philly, so I'm just going to just gonna drive around it, see what we can see. Guys, honestly, this is truly the only reason why I wear a helmet. It's so I could just, I have the ability to stick my GoPro on my head. <laughs> That's literally it, other than that, I would just wear a hat, but you know, since I can stick my GoPro on there, obviously I'm gonna use my helmet. <laughs> So I just tried to fly my drone and the gimbal got overloaded, unfortunately, of course. But then it also was like off the authorization, like you can't fly over this zone, you need like approval and you know, you had to put in your phone number and I was just like, it's okay. I don't want to go through all that trouble. It's cool. We don't need a drone shot that bad. It's like a thing with Philly, it's like, you can fly a drone here, you just need so many like, authentications and like, authorizations needed. Imagine being rich enough to afford a hotel night in the Four Seasons. <laughs> I'm working on my project right now, and I'm eating a tortilla. Roll, obviously because it tastes better like this. <laughs> Plain. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. I'm having Haley help me with my hair what because she doing? says that it looks off, so fix it. This? Yeah, just don't go up and over, just go up. Well, I can't, you gotta look down. What do you mean just go up? We are going to a haunted house in the abandoned prison. We're about to get scared. Ooh. It's gonna be great. Hey, oh my God, duck. 
and look at that. And Mickey and Mouse. They're bonded. You have to get both of them together. Dude, this is wild. We're actually in the prison right now. look like um, Al Capone actually was in here I think at one point but yeah crazy you can see the upstairs level too yeah that's wild imagine just living in there I can't imagine living there that would be so bad <laughs> We are doing an audio tour of the place. Go inside and learn some stuff about the history. experience in the haunted houses at Eastern State Penitentiary. I'd say, so we paid 39 because we did like the one of the earlier days. Yeah. And I think it's definitely worth the 39. I wouldn't pay like the 50 or 60 for it. Right, yeah. I think it was a cool mix of getting to see all like the history stuff and Halloween. Yeah. I'm very used to doing like the Halloween and the amusement park rides. So it was very different, but it was cool. Yeah, it was cool. And I liked it. To see the stuff. Because to come to the just the um, prison in the day is like 18 or 19. Yeah. So for pay a little, a little extra, more, you, get you get scared. Scared, which is cool too, because you kind of got to see it all. 